many nights and days we were going back and forth, you know, learning a lot of stuff. And then, um, you know, I was excited to to learn more, you know, and get yeah. more training, Good. you know. Good. So, so you had a little bit of experience. Your friend helped you. That's awesome. And then what made you guys decide to come, like, send you down? Like, what what, what was it that you guys kind of, like, instead of him doing it all with you, what, like, what was it? I mean, it was a lot of reasons, to be honest with you. You know, it really was because I had a business already going on, and I wanted to, you know, integrate this, uh, you know, high-income skill to that business because, you know, at the end of the day, everything is changing. And, you know, everybody needs to have, um, you know, option to have a, a good okay. place to you know, get the devices fixed. So I thought, you know what, let me go down there, get certified, get trained, make some contacts, network, and get some real, you know, hands-on training. Because, I mean, I was doing some stuff on FaceTime, but it was nothing like your course. And, you know, getting in touch with you guys and, um, you know, you, you and Chris were great. Um, I remember him. So Right. He was tired. He yeah, retired when COVID hit. I was like, ooh. Oh, man, that's sad. But, you know, it, it was great. It was a great time. You know, anybody who takes your course will be excited to, you know, to keep going and further their, uh, you know, knowledge and their, their passion for this. So it's a good, yeah. good experience. So once you got out, how you were preparing stuff already. So you just jumped right in and kept repairing, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, and I, you're I, doing I, mobile now still. You're I, all over the place. I'm doing mobile. Um, we have a, a, a office space in the Bronx. And so, you know, we're integrating that service now. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, get more people and, and get more, uh, you know, contacts on, on online, you know, social media. You do, you're you doing some really cool videos. Yeah. I, I, I liked that. I was like, what? What is this video? <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. Well, it's good to be promoting marketing. You know, as you know, it's, it's, you got to be out there, be friendly. Um, you know, be confident, be, be, be yourself, you know, take advantage of, you know, of doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Just have live with integrity because at the end of the day, if you do right, if you do right, as you said to us in class, you know, you will always have more and more customers come and they'll trust you. And that's what you got to do. You know, that's, that's the, that's the, the secret sauce, if you want to call right. it, you know? Right. Yeah. I know there was like a post on the group this morning, a little off topic, but um, a guy was saying how his customer didn't make any sense and his customer's lying that the phone, the customer said he just woke up and the phone was cracked on its own. It was right on the left side of the home button, like just in the middle of the glass. Yeah, I saw that conversation. Yeah. And I commented and everybody came in and was like, oh, so how much, how much would you accept for a bad review? I was like, I'm, you know what? I deleted my comment because I said, you could have put the screw too tight. You could have put the wrong screw and that could happen. You know, like it's not worth losing a customer over. You know what I mean? That's over true. You know, I'll be honest. I'll be honest right now. I, I've done that mistake. So you know what? Me too. So have I when I started. I used to tie this yeah. so tight, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you know what? You, you just like, what? what is it going to cost you, right? To lose a customer? $20. That's what the screen is like, $25. Even then, even if the screen was like $400, I would not lose a customer if it was my fault. No way, Jose. Yep. Never, never. Mm -mm. Not, we're not my customers. No, no, no. Um, so tell me, how many repairs are you doing on average, like a day? Like, would you say? Uh, you know, every day is different. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, so some days it could be, uh, some. they could be two, they could be three. You yeah. know, uh, I'll be honest though. You got to be ambitious. You know, if there's no repairs, you know, you just got to go invest in phones that are broken. You know, and fix them and sell them. You know, make make your own reality. You know, you can't wait for someone to knock on your door or call you. Right. Right. You got it. You got to be ambitious. So, you know, it, it'd be great to have multiple repairs, but if no one's coming to you, you gotta, you know, take your uh, matters in your own hands. Right, and you're mobile. When, when people don't understand the the concept of mobile is extremely popular right now, and I get that. But it is it is the harder route because you don't have anybody driving by and seeing you. Exactly right. That's very true. So you gotta, you gotta you put gotta in the legwork, the real, like the actual movement of legwork, getting out there and talking to people. You gotta create attention. That's what it's all about. I'll, I'll be honest. When I did that last video, that repair that you saw, um, I noticed that you know I have a hatchback. So when, when my roof was raised, a lot of people was like paid attention to me. So I said to myself, you know what, I gotta have like a pop up store. You know, I don't mind. You know, and just you know, just people seeing what we can do for them. And mingling with them and promoting and just being out there and, and people will, will come up to us, you know, they'll, right. they'll, they'll... they will. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know anything about the Bronx, but they don't have markets or something you can set up in or. 
I mean, it doesn't really work like that, but you know, oh. <laughs> they, 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 they do have something that, you know, like, I mean, you would have to maybe have like a permit, but you know, there's, there's people that do things all the time without those permits, you know? Right. So, right. Oh my you know, God. All, you know, see, see what, whatever you could try, you know? Whatever right. You could. Well, that's awesome. I'm, I'm so glad you're doing so well uh, because you know, it, it really is a success because you're, you're, I mean, you're doing a full time and you're making money from it. I mean, that's the whole point of it is that I just hope that you guys are able to actually get where you want to go. Do you have any plans of opening a store? Are you like the mobile or what are your plans? I mean, I, I don't mind doing the mobile for now. I mean, one maybe one day I'll have a store, but like I said, I have an office space. So, you know, we oh, kind of, yeah. yeah, so we kind of like technically have a storefront per se, but it mo mostly is in, in reality, it's an office space. So have you ran Facebook ads recently, like ads, ads. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. Honestly, let me, I haven't. Let, let's get on the phone together like this week. I, I've got some open times and let me go into your business manager with you and let's just run one ad pointing towards your office. We could definitely do it. I don't mind. Do that? Let's do it. I did. And I'll tell you my results. So I ran an ad for three days because I'm moving to Atlanta, the school. And, and we kind of like push business away because the space is so small and we're kind of like too many people coming in and out. Um, but when we're in Atlanta now, it's double the size. So I want to do walk-in. So I was like, you know, let me freshen up on my ad skills and just make sure, because I've been doing training ads, you know, for years and, and here and there repair. So I was like, let me see if I still got it. So I ran an ad and Adam helped me, the one that I need, I connect you guys with on the group and stuff. I, I don't know if you've seen him, but um, so we got on there and I ran an ad for three days. It was $50. I got 22 messages and I sold six sales. Great. That's great. So That's that was great. like, if you take six divided by, you know, 50. That's eight dollars and thirty three cents. It could have been better if I would have kept the ad running, but right, I was right. like, "Oh, okay, I still got it." You know, <laughs> it's, it's still good. It, yeah, no, right. I, I, I was like, get... "I still got this thing down with the ads." You know, I'm not as rusty as I thought. You know, uh, so when we go to Atlanta, I'll be running them, but we could just we could just run a test ad and see what happens. I'm all I'm all for it. I really okay. looking for it. Really Let's just say fifty dollars. We're gonna put well sixty dollars, twenty dollars a day, and we're gonna try for three days. Let's try it. Why not? Okay, so we'll do that this week then. Okay. Do you have any other words of wisdom or hey, like what's something that really, really helped you doing mobile or like like a, a, a challenge or anything that you can share with people right now that are like, I want to do mobile. I want to come to Subotics and I want to do mobile. Anything that you can say? Well, I would say you know they have to have. Um, a, a system of process you know they have to set up like always make sure they have like anything that's pre-authorization pre -authorization, um, forms you know what they can find in your, your app you know what I mean like those are very important things because to be honest with you a lot of people like you said will try to pull a fast one on you and that's happened to me oh, and yeah. I've lost money you know and I'm not happy about it but you know what I learned from it and that's what I think I can share with people that you know don't make that mistake you know really don't rush into the business you know, don't rush into the launch. Make sure you, you know, have all the foundation ready per se, you know, because at the end of the day, you can't go back from what your mistakes. What do you mistake. use for your intake processes? Like your honestly, I'm, using, I'm using your forms, honestly, and I'm, I'm attaching my logo as you required us to do. Oh. And you know, it's, it's been going well. You know, every time I do a repair, I, I try to do, I mean, everybody has their own ways, but what I do is okay. I, uh, I give them information like you have in the forms, teaching them how to avoid the, you know, situation happening again right. and I attach my business card and you know it's great because when they get the repair they're like wow you know this is nice it's informative it lets me know what how to prevent it you know he cares you know and I think it's been going so you're good. giving out those little information cards in your card and stuff that's awesome and then I asked them hey if you don't mind can you do a video review as you've seen and I and I get I have about maybe 10 or 15 that's so it's gonna keep going and going and going they, and, and it's not it's, I didn't pay anyone to say it no. Is their is their honest opinion? You can see it, and I'm very happy that they're happy with it, and they're just like you said, they're 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 using us, and we're going forward, helping their family and their friends, and they have a place where they can trust us. And, and right, and I love it that you say you're using that method because I feel like not a lot of students do. They don't give that information about the repair and attach their card and all that, and that's like so important because I get like you. People will say, "Wow, this is like so professional and so great. I never had this happen." Like like it's like they to take some back, you know? So that's great. And you didn't have to like bribe them and give them something for them to leave a review. 
No, not at all. And I'll be honest with you, I would have had about 50 more videos because to be honest with you, since I've taken the course, I fixed about 150 people's phones. So some people are camera shy. They right. don't they buy camera. So and some people forget they don't leave a review. You know, they mean to, you know how it is, but no, no, I, listen, if you were doing bad work, you'd have a ton of reviews. Hey, listen, I only have one bad review on my page. <laughs> Well, you know you're doing good because when you don't have a lot of reviews, that means you're not screwing people because people will leave bad reviews faster than they will good ones. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, so you can't please everyone. Yeah. But, you know, one out of 190 or whatever I did, you know, that's not bad. That's not right. bad. No, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, well, thank you so much for doing this video. And I want to... I'm going to message you some times at work and let's jump on the phone together and let's just run you an ad and see and see what happens. I'm down for that. Let's do okay. it. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later this week. That's the cool. Thanks for Bye. Having me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.